light speed tutorial hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can use light speed so having said that let's just jump into the video now i'm over here onto their website and what you're going to have to do is when you come over here onto lightspeedhq.com what you're going to do is just simply you know get started so to get started just simply click on the free trial button over here at the top right corner and you should be good to go so there is like a payment plan but I will get to that later on at the end of this video so that you guys can know so once you click on the free trial button they're gonna ask you what you want to get started with you want to get started with the retail restaurant or e-commerce right it all depends on you but for now i'm gonna choose retail and i'm gonna click on the start now button over here and over here what do you want to sell so it can be apparel and footwear food and beverages gift shops toys electronics whatever right it all depends on you for now i'm going to choose apparel and footwear and then we have no location one location you can add how many locations you want so i'm going to say no locations yet and then over here just enter in your full name your email address your company name and password to get started so i'm just simply going to go ahead and fill out this form and i'll catch you guys in a second all right so then all you have to do is add in the location details and tax settings right so just add that like you know your location name address city phone number and email and then we will move on so i'm gonna go ahead and do this catch you guys in a second and then once you have set everything up this is how it looks like so over here this is going to be your dashboard and let me just get this out of the way all right so over here this is your sales panel right so if you click on home this is going to be your home this is going to be your dashboard basically over here you can see a lot of your stuff so you have all of your uh, reports revenues you know sales all of that and then on the left side you have a bunch of different options such as sales inventory customers reports and settings and then you have devices over here and then you have lock and then you have this pin button over here that will keep this uh, you know window open regardless where you are so it's pretty simple now let's go ahead and choose a register by clicking on this button it'll open up this uh window over here then we just simply click on register number one or whatever and then we have the opening account the 50 and all of that and then we have the total so you can go ahead and add all of your x so hundred dollars how many hundred dollars uh bills do you have so we'll just say two how many 50 ones you have we'll again say 220 is going to be like 15 and then tens are gonna be like 20s and then fives are also gonna be 20s ones are gonna be like also maybe like 10 and i have how many cents you just simply count that so you can add that so basically let's go with 25 25 25 25 so yeah that's it and then you submit the count and then you open the drawer and boom you have your uh, receipt over here so you can go ahead and add that so this is going to be your register number one and then you can add like a new sale and all of that and then over here on the left side you have inventory so over here you can search for an item add items import item print labels matrix serial number and all of that right so to add an item just simply click on this plus button right here and over here it's going to open up this uh, page over here you search for an item or you create a new item right so you add the item description uh, the type of the item serialize you add the quantity uh, system ids are going to be over here categories e-commerce and all of that and once you have done that you are going to go so let me just go ahead and fill this out real quick so for this one let's just say that i have like 50 of these uh it's let's say you know uh, a black shirt and then we can say it's single yeah it's not it's serialized no it's not serialized then we can add like a system id so you can add like a custom sku number so yeah that looks good and then you can add it to the category then you can add like brands if you don't have any brands you can add that later tags as well and then we have like custom fields over here you can go ahead and click on the settings button to add custom fields into it and then display notes on the sale and recipes display notes on the sales and receipts so you can go ahead and say like thank you for purchasing this item and you should be good to go and then over here you can add like the default uh price right so, so we'll just say ten dollars right msrp yeah markup is going to be over here but we don't want to add that uh the total cost of it is going to be let's say five dollars we don't have any vendor name but for now we can add that later as well and then you just simply click on save changes and you should be good to go and then you have more items over here like a detail you can add like the 
add images of the product then you have your vendor ids over here sales law lawyers you know a lot of stuff over here then you can go ahead and add that right so this is the print label we can print that as well and then over here you can add the images so let me just go over here and find some images on google i mean this is just for an example right there we go now well, let's go ahead and add the image there we go this is the image of the black shirt all right details black shirt there we go yeah everything looks good and we can add a label as well and then we have inventory over here if we click on inventory we can see it how many items do we have average cost is going to be 50 we don't have any lawyers and all of that and then we will have sales of this item over here and we have graphs history merge customers all of that we get all of the settings and everything so now that we have our item let's go ahead and add some customers so in customers click on this button and over here you will have customers credit accounts uh, customer types quotes gift cards all of that simply click on the customer button and over here you can search for a customer or you can add new by clicking on this create new customer button over here at the top right corner simply click on that button and over here you will have the type it's a new type all right you can enter in a new type of question entering a new type of customers uh, you can add like a discount or sale tax you can add the first name last name the title the company and the company registration number vat number birthday and all of the other settings that you want to add and then you should be good to go so i'm going to click on new type and we'll just say a regular customer there we go regular discount we'll just say non non yeah first name john last name doe and we don't want to add like a title we'll just we don't want to have add like a like companies or stuff like that let's go ahead and add like a birthday born in 19 let's go in 1990 all right on a sunday and then we can add like phone number their mobile number registration page all of that we can add like their address as well if they have provided us with it you can add like you know websites and stuff like that and then once we have added that we can go ahead and click on save changes and we should be good to go and pretty much that's it and then over here if you click on devices uh, you can download the lightspeed hub on all of your devices like your printer uh, you know you have your phone on your laptop on your computer everywhere so you can go ahead and add that and keep up to date with your sales revenues and all of that and then in settings you have a bunch of different other options like locations employee setup general options subscription setup and all of that if you want to add some of these you can go ahead and add them by clicking on the button and adding the details it's so simple right so employee setup we'll go over here you can add like a new employee unnamed over here but yeah you can click on a new employee and then you can of course fill in this form first name last name their phone numbers their addresses and contacts and all of that and you should be good to go that's how you basically add different employees and then you can set them up as well so everything is pretty simple nothing too crazy very simple to manage uh you just add your stores you add your inventory and then you add in all of it so that it's all automated later on right as i said before in inventory you have a bunch of different options you have vendors categories tags and all of that you can set up each item by just simply clicking on that item and clicking on the new button and adding the category so over here let's say shirts right we had already added a shirt we'll go ahead and name add it so we can add like subcategories as well we can add like summer shirts this will be like a subcategory we can add that here we go we have it over here and then we just simply go ahead and go back to our inventory you know and then we have our inventory over here this is basically like you know recently viewed we have the black shirt over here we click over here onto that item and as you can see it'll open up over here and then down below over here i think there was a category option here we go we select that we select the shirts option there we go and we select the summer shirts so there we go shirts summer shirts boom there we go pretty simple and then we just simply click on the save button and you should be good to go so pretty simple right nothing too crazy very simple you just click on an option fill out the form add in the details and you are good to go so pretty much that is it that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye